Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen. Good morning, ready to cook it up for you all. Well, cook it up for us. And today we have some Publix grade A eggs. Grade A, grade A. I wonder who gave the eggs the grade? Anyway, okay, whatever y'all. All right, so anyway, we got our Publix eggs over here. We got some banquet brown, uh, brown and served turkey sausages. Y'all done seen these in my grocery hauls before. Um, yeah. I like the turkey sausage. We like the turkey sausages. They taste real good. And these are the, you know, the little patties. I'm sorry. They call them the patties. All right. And we got some Kentucky Legend Applewood Bacon. Yes. Yes. That's what we got going on this morning, y'all. And y'all, I got a surprise for y'all today. Guess what I found in the store? Y'all won't believe it. God heard my prayer and answered my prayer. Y'all remember when I made them Cheddar Bay Biscuits and I was complaining about all that, having to mix the cheese and do all the work. I had to do all the work. I said, why I can't just place these biscuits down and, and cook them? Why I got to do all the work? Cheddar Bay Red Lobster Biscuits. They heard my prayer, y'all. They heard my prayer. Look what I found in the store. New Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits ready to bake. Ooh, child. Eight biscuits. Eight biscuits, y'all, ready to bake. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is sit them in the pan. Sit them in the pan and just cook them on up. They heard my prayer. And that is the word of the day. Pray and he will hear your prayer. God will hear your prayer. All you gotta do is pray. Talk to the man. Talk to the man like I do. Pray and he'll hear your prayer and answer your prayers. All right, that's the word of the day, y'all. I just, I just felt that in my spirit. That's what God been dealing with me on. So, y'all know me. It come, it starts here first. So, yeah, pray, talk to God. Anyway, all right. So, y'all know I'm excited about these cheddar bay biscuits. <laughs> all I gotta do is place them in this pan over here with this little boy and just cook them at 350 degrees. And I got the oven preheated. Y'all know. Let's read these instructions real quick. All right. So let's see. Preheat the oven to 350, okay? Lime baking sheet with parchment paper or spray baking sheet with nonstick cooking spray. Okay, maybe I need to use parchment paper and not aluminum foil. All right, okay, I'm gonna switch this out with parchment paper. So, I'm gonna move this aluminum foil out the way. I'm gonna switch this with parchment paper, y'all. That's what I'm gonna do, because that's what the instructions say. So, that's one thing I've learned. Follow instructions now. Follow instructions. That's another word of the day. All right, I'm just telling y'all what's in my spirit. Okay, so parchment paper, put the biscuits on it. Okay, yeah, child. All right. Place frozen dough about two inches apart. Okay, child. Put the biscuits down. Bake them for 25 minutes until lightly brown. Okay, 25, 30 minutes. Okay, that's good because by the time I can do cooking my eggs, the bacon, and the sausage, that's going to be 30 minutes. Okay, everybody cooking together. Perfect. All right, what else? Okay, we melt in butter. Okay, so we melt in two tablespoons of butter for four biscuits, four tablespoons for the eight biscuits. We're cooking all eight, so we need four tablespoons. Okay. So at the end, we're going to melt some butter, and then there must be a garlic packet in here. You know what? Let me open this up. I need to get that parchment paper down. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says garlic herb seasoning. Okay, they got two packs in here. Okay, they got two packs. Okay, we're using both packs. I guess we, oh, okay. Garlic herb seasoning packets. Okay, season packet for one. Four tables, no, four biscuits, two tablespoons, one pack. Eight biscuits, two tablespoons, two packs. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, one plus one is two. <laughs> y'all know I told y'all math was not my strongest. So, all right, let's see what they look like. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all, this is what they look like. Okay, they small now. They lost to these biscuits small. I hope they going in the process of being in that 350 degrees. I hope these biscuits gonna swell up. I hope they gonna get bigger than this. Okay, y'all. We gonna see. These, these look small. You know what? You know what? I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I think once they cook up, I think they gonna swell up real big. That's what I think. That's what I'm predicting, y'all. That's what I'm predicting. Once the heat hit them, they gonna swell up and get big. Like they've been in the gym. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we gonna see. We gonna see. So, so. All right. Okay, this cute, y'all. He heard my prayer. Because y'all remember I was complaining in that last video. I try not to complain. I ain't perfect. Have I told y'all that lately? Well, I ain't perfect, shucks. I ain't perfect. Nobody perfect. So, all right, let me get some parchment paper. So we can go ahead and get these biscuits. <clears throat> get these biscuits laid out. Let's 
Okay, let's move this stuff out the way. Let's move this stuff out the way. So y'all can see me get the biscuits together. I already got my oven preheated. <clears throat> I want to fold this. Because this got too much activity going on. Okay, so let's fold this. So this can match my old school pan. Alright, because I need a, my old school pan for these biscuits. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this right. Okay, Chuck. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we got together. Y'all see. Okay. So, let's get these biscuits out here. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my scissors. Ooh, this is going to be good, y'all. I am so excited. You know what? I don't I don't know if they already had it like this. I don't know. When I went to the store and I got the other recipe, I didn't see these, so... Like they say new, so they must be heard my prayer and made these. But that's how I should be. I should be able to just place the biscuit and bake it. Ain't got time to play with y'all. Let me give y'all a close-up look on the biscuit. It, it looked like they made it. See, it looked like they made it, um, like they made the mix for you and they just froze it. That's what it looked like to me. Like, you know, that's what it looked like. That what it looked like to me. But I'm so happy they came out with this. So I ain't got to be mixing and putting no cheese nowhere and doing all that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I should be able to place this biscuit and go on with my business. Go on with my life. Ain't got time for that. So, y'all, they done made it even easier for us. Ha! <laughs> they done made it easier for us. We just going to place these biscuits. Okay, we're going to do it real cute now so everybody got room to grow. Because these things, I believe they're going to swell up, y'all. I believe they're going to swell up and get big. All right, y'all. So, look. Look how quick and easy that was. Quick and easy that was. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get these biscuits in the oven. I'm going to throw the bacon in the oven. Uh, the bacon in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the oven. And get them sausages in the oven, too. Everybody going in the oven. The bacon, the sausage, the biscuit. And I'm going to scramble these eggs. All right. Let's go. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. As y'all can see, I've already got my sausages trayed up. I just laid my, sprayed it with a little, uh, my cooking oil. Y'all know my old faithful canola cooking spray. Uh, put my sausages down and I just sprayed the top of my sausages as well. Remember, the oil, the spray oil helps your food cook. All right. So, I got my bacon open over here and ready. Ready already. Now, my bacon today, I'm going to cut it in half. Sometimes I do that, <clears throat> especially because I'm cooking the biscuits. So we're going to have like little breakfast biscuit sandwiches, you know what I mean? So I'm going to cut my bacon in half. That makes it easier to make it a sandwich. So, y'all can see me over here. Well, anyway, I'm going to cut this bacon in half real quick. All right, so got our bacon cut in half. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and tray up my bacon. And you know what? When you cut it in half, you can fit. You know, you can fit more too because you know this bacon going to just draw up. So, I'm going to go ahead and put all this down. Yep, and I'm just going to throw it in the oven with our biscuits. Everybody going to be cooking together. Everybody going to be getting along. Everybody going to be getting along. Stop all that fighting. Anyway, y'all. Uh, oh, this bacon smells so good. Hope all is well with everyone out there. Hey, y'all. Shouts out to everybody. Appreciate all y'all love and y'all support. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate y'all clicking on this video. I appreciate y'all time. Appreciate people time, y'all. They ain't got to give y'all they gotta give y'all y'all they time. Appreciate people time. I appreciate y'all time. I ain't got to do nothing. How about that? Appreciate people time. Y'all need to do that. I appreciate y'all time. Shucks. Because you know why? It's the same way with me. 
You do something for somebody, you got to appreciate their time. Appreciate what they do. Shucks. I appreciate y'all time. And that's real. Because I know what it's like to give my time to somebody. Shucks. I'll give you my time. Don't be playing with me. Don't be wasting my time. Okay. Make me go there. But, all right. This is what I love doing, y'all. Cooking and just talking spiritual. Giving that spiritual advice from my experience. You know, I, this is what I love to do. This is what I love to do because this is what God made me to do. I truly believe my calling, of course, is ministry. Of course. And God, number one. And cooking. It's like, you know, I love both. You know. This bacon laid down. I'm going to be squeezing this bacon in here, y'all. Don't be looking crazy. Y'all know this bacon going to shrink, so... I'm going to be squeezing it in here. I wonder if I should have put it the other way. Nah, this will be alright. I'm going to squeeze these other two pieces in here. And then the other half, I'm just going to put in the sandwich bag and save it for later. I can always cook it. Leave it in the refrigerator and just cook it up. Okay, y'all. So I got my bacon laid out. You can squeeze your bacon. Squeeze it in. Ain't going to hurt nothing. Because they all going to shrink up and draw up anyway. Okay, so. I got my bacon in here. All my bacon in there, y'all. See, I got my sausage. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven. First, I'm going to wash my hand. And as y'all can see, I have the other half of my bacon. Because I cut the bacon in half. And I can just put this in the sandwich bag. In a little Ziploc bag, you know. And you can have that through the week. You know, throw you some bacon in the oven, you know. Throw the bacon in the oven for the kids, you know. For school, whatever. So, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. I'm going to get this food in the oven. Our biscuits are already cooking up. Let me peek in on them. Oh, y'all. I can't wait for y'all to see these biscuits. I can't wait. Remember how I was talking about how little they are? Oh, y'all, they swelling up. They done went to the gym. They done went to the gym. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead. I'm going to get this meat in the oven with the biscuits. Get everybody now. Everybody cooking together, y'all. I'll be back, y'all. Let me see. I'm going to scramble my eggs. Y'all done seen me scramble my eggs a million times. So I'm going to scramble them eggs up real quick while this cooking. And when I come back, you know what? It's going to be the grand finale, y'all. We're going to, we just going to get right to it. The grand finale. All right. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys. And for our grand finale, you guys see everything is done. Let me take y'all into those biscuits. Oh, they look so good. Y'all, look at the biscuits. I got that garlic and butter on top of them. Oh. Yes, the biscuits turned out really good. The only thing about these biscuits, biscuits, they're smaller than the other ones. They're smaller than the mix, you know, so, but that's fine. Thank you, or whatever. So, let's get to that food over here. We got the sausages all nice and toasty brown. Let me take y'all in, y'all know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at them sausages, yes. And my egg, as y'all can see, I did like a nice big flat omelet. Because, you know, we're going to make like little biscuit sandwiches. So, I figured it'd be easier to make the little mini biscuit sandwiches. You know, if the egg was flat. So, I made like one large omelet. It looks great. Let me take y'all into that omelet. Mm, 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 mm. Looks amazing. And then we have the bacon over here. Who car is making all that noise? You know what? Anyway. All right, y'all. And y'all see the bacon. That le bacon. All right, I'm going to leave y'all right there in the baking business. Not my business, in the baking business. All right, y'all seen me do it. Y'all seen me do this. Y'all know I did this. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media to show me your love and support at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.